Good morning, everyone. It's Wes with Westberg Tarot. How you doing? It's uh, Friday, January 5th. It's cold. Uh, in Minnesota here, it is 10 below right now, which might sound pretty extreme for a lot of people, but uh, I know at the moment the country, <laughs> the U.S., has got a lot of cold stuff going on, so this might not seem as tragic or dramatic as it might normally sound. Hey, Amy, good morning. Charlotte, good morning. Hello, everyone. If you're here, give a shout out. Love to hear what's going on. Uh, so I've shuffled. I've cut the deck. It's time to get down to it. Here we go. Your card of the day is huh, the Nine of Wands. I don't think we've ever had this card show up before. That's kind of cool. All right. So I'll pop it up here for everyone's kind of just edification. We have um, a minor arcana card here. Uh, wands is an energy that uh, typically kind of manifests in your life as, as, well, just what you do in your life. A lot of times it's work. Um, yeah, Charlotte, we had those, t yeah, it's, yeah. As a Minnesotan, I feel obligated to talk about the weather um, because it's a thing <laughs> up here. But yeah, no, it's awful, isn't it? Even for stalwart Minnesotans, we're having kind of a, a really interesting start to the year weather-wise. Anyway, I digress. Sorry, let me get back to it. So the Nine of Wands here, um, snapshot here, uh, Wands, is, yeah, all about the use of your energy and kind of the course of your day. A lot of times it's how it manifests in your job, but really just like the energy that you exert um, as you kind of wake up till you go to bed. Why is this camera having a hard time focusing? Anyway, I'll just put it over here. New phone, technical difficulties, I am so sorry. Anyway, um, so... When I see this card show up in a reading, uh, I'm able to kind of just break down what this card talks about by its, its imagery here, deconstruct it pretty easily. Um, we have uh, these wands kind of manifest adversarially almost in the background, like things that you're kind of doing battle with. And there's this person who um, is kind of leaning on one staff, <laughs> a little bit of a wound here, uh, it would seem, but just looks a tad weary. So this is a person who is currently actively engaged in all the stuff in their life, nose to the grindstone, but right now is maybe feeling a little bit overwhelmed and kind of just really inundated with all the different things that they're either trying to en engage in and actively do or feeling obligated to do, and it's just requiring their presence, whether they like it or not. And it kind of takes its toll. So when folks are on deadline, when folks have lots of irons in the fire, when there's just a lot, a lot of activity going on, um, it's fairly easy to get to this place where you feel like, ugh, I am so overwhelmed with all the crap I have to do. There's not enough hours in the day. There's not enough active hours of me being awake where I can kind of focus and concentrate just to kind of get things rolling. And it just, you know, it can be stressful. Um, you know, in a perfect world or a more balanced world, we're able just to kind of check things off of our to-do list in kind of a fun, functional way where we're not feeling overwhelmed but we're not dawdling either there's just this nice flow and when we're in that place it's awesome you know we get things checked off and it, it can be really satisfying um not enough things to do if we're, we're not doing enough well then we kind of get a little antsy and bored when it's the other extreme when we have too much that needs to be done this is kind of where you can end up being or feeling um so if this card resonates with you as something divinatory today, then you'll have this opportunity to really acknowledge and address that perhaps you've got a lot going on right now. Perhaps your ambition got the best of you, and right now you just feel like you're currently super involved and in trying just to kind of get things taken care of, and it's kicking your butt more than you'd like. Um, so when you kind of find yourself in these things, when you have a chance to conscientiously really acknowledge that this is what's going on, obviously the next step is to, to say to yourself, well, what can you do? What strategically can you do about kind of helping get out of this particular situation is it just something you got to have to plow through and endure for a couple of days and then it'll be done well then so be it if that's how you are with the with the context of it and everything then then there it is if it's something where you can make a choice we're like well you know can i divide and conquer can i individually take care of these things is it going to be better for me to focus on singular things and just knock them out rather than trying to maybe apply a lot of energy across a whole lot of stuff at once perhaps I'm throwing out strategic advice because that's just the tendency when I see this card to want to kind of start thinking constructively and strategically right away. But I, I, I mention this more than for anything else. Just start to go through the process of figuring out what you can do. If there's problem solving that needs to occur and not on a applying your energy, not working harder, but working smarter kind of way, well, then there you go. 
if this ends up being not divinatory for you today, but just something to consider for general guidance or for meditation or, you know, guidance at a later time, well, I, everything I just kind of considered, if, if we can really actively balance this idea of working hard and working smart, working strategically as opposed to just kind of throwing energy at something just and hoping it all just kind of slogs its way through, well, there you go. Um, I'll leave it at that. All right, if y'all have questions or comments about this card, leave them here in the, in the post. I'll do my best to answer them. Uh, and like always, uh, I hope you have a good day with this. Uh, and yeah, I'll see you guys tomorrow. Cheers.